Hi guys, so welcome back to Tommy Starcraft. This is your host Tommy with another Starcraft Remastered replay for you guys. Once again, we have a great international engagement here in between two pro players. Let me just start by introducing the players to you guys as we are spawning here in the upper right in the teal. It is Vulture and his opponent here in the lower right in the blue. It is Flash. Of course, many of you guys should know who this is. Considered to be the best player here in this game as they're spawning here on a four spawning location map. And from the time of this replay you can actually see that we're having a lower time here so what exactly is going to happen i'm not going to spoil it of course to you guys but yeah let's just see exactly what tactics is going to be chosen here by both players protoss versus terran it is once again here on this channel and once again a replay with flash as we see now the protoss opening up we really standard with a pylon next to his nexus let's just see if flash is once again going to place a uh, supply depot here next to his command center but no by the looks of it he's placing it here next to the ramp so this looks like he's wishing here to wall in off to block here this ramp and yeah terran it is so let's just see from the thumbnail i'm thinking of putting a tank to the thumbnail it's a small spoiler for you of course many terrans really like to go into mechanical build orders tanks vultures goliaths later on and so on so flash is very likely also going to choose this or is he might try something crazy with ruins with fire bats with medics but it is very uncommon yeah let's just check the protos here a little bit as this should be his gateway of course and he has continued here with his gas those players at the 11 worker count nobody has sent yet out his scouting uh, workers here but we're closing it at a two minute mark so pretty soon it should be of course the map should be scouted here by the boss players and it from the looks of it yes indeed flash is now the first to move out here let's just see when exactly the protoss is going to go out when exactly vulture is going to go out there is his cybernetic score and yet another pylon is being placed here and by the looks of it flash is heading straight to the right direction here straight to the upper right part so this could be a small advantage here for him knowing exactly where his opponent is hiding barracks is up there is his second supply depot yes indeed and pretty soon he should of course continue with a factory or ec might go into mass bio like i told you would be a possibility but very very rare cv is dealing some damage of course i see very much important here for some scouting purposes it's going to try to be a little bit annoying here maps try to pull a probe from mining sees this upgrade now so he's very likely knowing that dragoons are coming here towards his way dragoons with range early on really really strong against the terran so i guess this is exactly why flash is bunkering here up closing here the gap has one marine out notice that he's not producing any more marines currently he's going for his factory here gas is of course being mined with only one scv so interesting is this not that much uh, importance at the beginning of the game here from flash towards that mining from gas let's just see where this takes us as the protoss is now uh, expanding here but notice that only now the protoss is moving out with that uh, scouting probe and he's heading of course to the wrong direction he saw of course flash is in the upper left part there's that second gateway here for the protoss everything is getting scouted here nicely by the cv here from flash and this could also be a yes indeed an expansion here for flash as he saw of course the fact that the protoss also went into a expansion he decided as well to expand here and of course you guys know parents can upload that command center and download it here land it here so yeah once again notice only one marine here so a little bit of a risky gameplay here for fresh and what could this be a starport no it's a second factory here for him can also see the upgrades here and the production in the upper left part while exactly flash and the protoss is going for so pretty risky gameplay here but then again one tank into this position could of course hold this ledge as the protoss would have not have any vision here so pretty good stuff early on we're closing at the five minute mark here so pretty standard stuff no major engagement no aggression early on by the players Perhaps a small economic advantage here for the Protoss as he has finished here his Nexus. And yeah, he's is going to move out here with his expansion. Second factory is about to get finished. Upgrades are online now. There's that research for mines. 
more and more dragoons are being produced now here for the Protoss S. He's on three gateway here already. Some ropes here on idle, so a little bit of a mistake here by the Protoss, but I'm sure he's going to fix it. As now he's actually moving out here, pretty pretty strong move out. Is Flash going to be prepared here for this? Yes, three marines, two tanks, but there's three dragoons and one zealot coming here towards the way. So Flash even pulling one SCV here. Prepare those tanks. Vulture is also very important early on with those mines against those Protoss units. Here we go, the Zealot will of course be targeted first, really, really nice. The Goons try to get some connection against those tanks, but those players are microing it really, really nicely here. And there's already three tanks now here for Flash. And actually Flash feels really, really confident here to move out, he might snipe, indeed a Dragoon. Vulture is also falling really, really low, so yeah, good engagement here by these players. SCV very much important here for Flash as they will repair those tanks and from the looks of it I think that Flash is actually deciding to be here aggressive against the Protoss we're at 6 minute mark just see what his tactics is going to be or is he going to work out remember those Dragoons be really strong early on especially with that upgrade range upgrade we also see the movement upgrade here for those Vultures so the Dragoons of course are going now for those tanks one tank getting snapped the second one here as well the Marines will fall here as well, so pretty, pretty good job here by the Protoss. Actually cleaning here so much from Flash, but remember those mines, of course, very much important here for Flash as they will fend off an attack and look at that as Flash damage here. Somehow a mine made it here in the back as Flash is now moving forward. Of course, he did lose quite some units. The same can be said here for the Protoss. Those Dragoons early on, really, really strong, and both players even at the same work account. 32 to 34 here so yeah nice engagement here by both players and let's just see the follow-up here let's just check the main here from the protoss of course he has to go for those observers early on he really needs to see those mines here splash has placed them all over the map here so pretty pretty good stuff here south korean players some barracks here into this location of course to give him vision in case there is a shuttle coming here through so yeah, really really intelligent gameplay here by Flash and let's just check his main, another factory so 7 minute mark is closing in at a 3 factory count here and only now he's researching that siege tank ability here of course he's scouting here the expansions just to know exactly what his opponent is up to and the Protoss is going to try perhaps your drop with some zealots, some dark templars would also be interesting idea here for the protoss but i don't see a templar archive yet so yeah good stuff here by both players observer is out dragoons are going to clear those mines here yeah, and let's check what is going to happen siege tanks are in position here notice that flash is also placing here a turret just to have vision against those dark templars mines have been killed here by flash just so that he can put more and more mines forwardly here to be more aggressive and from the looks of it, slowly but steadily Flash keeps moving forward. He's at three tanks now against his opponent. More and more tanks will of course join. There's that shuttle here, but there is a turret, so the shuttle will drop those zealots here just to take those mines and deal splash damage. So pretty good job here by the Protoss, dealing so much splash damage here against a Flash. Good, good hold here by the Protoss. More and more mines are coming however through, but the observer sees of course everything. And while this siege is happening, I think I look at a lower 6 o'clock position, there is an expansion here for Flash. So while all of this aggression is going on, decides here to expand into that location. So really, really good job here by him. And the same can be said here by the Protoss, but a very risky, risky uh, move here by him. Flash has so many units, so many troops here out. And slowly but steadily we're closing in at the 10 minute mark now. Zealot is coming here through, almost making it here through towards those tanks. No more damage is being taken here by those vultures, but the wounds also take damage out of those siege tanks. Now more and more is being thrown here towards Flash, but no speed upgrade here with those zealots. As the dragoons will try now to kill those tanks. That mine really gets a nice connection here against the dragoons and the tanks. So Nice engagement for both, both players losing quite some units here, so really, really great, great engagement. But Flash decides not to turtle up, just like many turns do, decides to be aggressive here against his opponent. 
once again the tank is going to nicely hide here behind this uh, turret here so we have even scv once again placing this uh, turret against uh, drops against those observers <coughs> and here comes the drop once again with those zealots well, sadly only two zealots here for uh, Ultra, so he needs to be very much careful here. Some dragoons are defensively playing behind, but slowly but steadily, Flash is sieging here forward, moving here forward. A nice blockade with some pylons here by the Protoss players. But yeah, I'm looking at the main map and I see more and more reinforcements coming here through for Flash. So, look, looks of it, yeah, no matter what the Protoss is throwing here towards Flash, just keeps getting more and more splash damage as Flash is even spreading here his tanks around and deals now damage towards those islands so really really nice job here by him so that's still not having that movement upgrade here and more and more vultures are now in the front deal that massive damage here against those units so really really nice job here by flash by the looks of it he's actually going to make it here through being very very aggressive so this would be a nice lesson here if you're a terran player you can actually be aggressive against the protoss not allowing him here but yeah, remember, he also needs those turrets, vultures, tanks. Looks of it, Flash is somehow making this happen. As more and more tanks are joining in the fight. The vultures are pretty much undisturbed here. Just one shuttle with some zealots here. But that has to be, of course, the GG here for a vulture. So interesting, interesting strategy here by Flash. You'll notice that he did not decide to turtle up in his main. There was perhaps a try here to drop some units. Remember... While he attacked, he even expanded here into this location. Pretty, pretty great job here by him, showing us that it is possible to be aggressive as a turn. If you're facing a Protoss, you don't really have to be turtling up here at your main. Now let's just check the stats really, really quick. In case you guys are interested, I'm once again going to be clicking left and right. So yeah, really good lesson here if you are a turn facing a Protoss, you could try this out. I hope this would be a great inspiration for you. Once again, I'm thanking you for watching this replay. This is your host, Tommy, signing out.